this is Tim Maurer, financial planner, educator, and author of The Financial Crossroads. I'd like to share a story with you. When I was in my senior year of college, I was an entity wholly devoted to well, me. My own pleasure, my own profit. As I was finishing up my finance degree, heading on into the professional realm, all I was really focused on was making my life better. And that's why when I was approached with the opportunity to go on a charitable work trip, my first instinct was not to do it. But then when I heard that the work trip was in the former home of Bob Marley, Jamaica, and that my parents were willing to pay for the trip, I decided to go. The mission of our work crew was to help build infrastructure for a deaf school in the coast of Jamaica in Montego Bay. We stayed in a comfy little hostel in town, and each morning a van would come pick us up for the 45-minute drive out to the campus. The first day, I was handed a hammer, a tool belt filled with a bunch of roofing nails, and told to go up the ladder for the roofing detail. I did so, and as I climbed up, I looked in one direction and saw the coast. Beautiful blue water, absolutely gorgeous. And then when I turned to go to my work, I happened to see over the wall of the campus into a shanty town made up of plywood, no electrical, no plumbing for as far as I could see. Having never experienced anything like this, I was speechless. Remember, I was the guy who figured that everyone could pull themselves up by the proverbial bootstraps and they could figure it out on their own. And here I saw a sea of people that were completely helpless. Then I learned later that in Jamaica, the poverty was so intense and the education was so lacking in the poor community that people didn't even know what to do with kids who were deaf. In some cases, even as late as the 90s, they were left chained up outside of the house because they did not know what it meant to deal with someone who was deaf. Each morning, people in the community would come to the front door of the school and see if they could be picked to be the one person who would get in to have a paid day's work. Now the school didn't have a whole lot of cash, they could only pay five dollars, but that was an enormous amount for people who were making zero money. The very first day a gentleman came in to offer his services, had no shoes on, and offered to dig ditches, pounding his bare feet into the shovel all day long. Again, I was speechless. To the ground. Love ties the whole thing around No, it won't all go the way it should But I know the heart of life is good The cure for greed is the recognition of need. I bring this message to you not as a representative of charitable organizations, though there are so many out there that are fantastic organizations doing incredible work. I bring this news to you for your sake, because I don't want you to take this in simply intellectually and then go out and write a check to a charitable organization, though they may need the money. I really want you to take this in personally and viscerally experience it so it changes the way you look at your personal finances. Think about it this way. If you didn't get a raise this year because of the recession, and you were thinking how you would like to have spent that extra money to upgrade your 46-inch LCD flat-screen television to the brand new one and a half inch thick 52-inch LED television, you might not feel so bad when you have breakfast with your buddy who had a 50% pay cut that year. In the same sense, even if you lost your job, as traumatic an experience as that is, if you go spend an evening serving at a local homeless shelter, you may find that you really value that roof over your head and the help from family and friends around you getting you through this time. And when you see how hundreds of millions of people in this world go without automobiles, go without medical care, and in some cases even clean water, believe me when I tell you, experiencing this changes the way that you think about greed and it will cure it. Now I've shared a piece of my story and my journey with greed with you. I'd love to hear some of your story. Please write in on the blog or make a video where you tell your story. Maybe you're in the middle of it right now. Maybe you're feeling down in the dumps because you're struggling financially, but you're realizing that there is need out there and that changes the way that you see this whole thing. Thanks for listening. This is Tim Maurer, financial planner, educator, and co-author of The Financial Crossroads.